Hey, what's up there, beautiful souls? <laughs> um, welcome. This is the Cosmic Life vlog. Um, my purpose for recording all this, starting any of this, is to <clears throat> one not only document my experiences and record um my consciousness through a video <laughs> show. I'm trying to figure out the best words. is to document my experiences, but also if these do end up getting out to the world, <laughs> then there's some information out there. And, you know, it's, believe it or not, that's not the point. This is my experience, and that's all that is. Nothing more or less, just, <laughs> you don't need to listen, hear it or not, but just all that I've experienced and experiencing life, um, and not just me, like, I'm pretty sure, like, a, a lot of other psychedelic people and, you know, <laughs> things of that nature probably have really fascinating, crazy lives. <laughs> but, <clears throat> thank y'all guys for sticking around, and, um, uh, we'll see how this goes. Thank you. In love and light, namaste. Hi! What is up? Welcome to all the awareness, beautiful souls, and dimensional beings. Anybody else there in the cosmos who wish to join us here in this space. moment in time. But, alright, a little psychedelic note. Um, <laughs> for anyone who's ever tripped, um, isn't it fascinating that whenever you're getting closer to peak and you are already starting to think different, like you are thinking at multiple things at the same time, but, uh, the questions of reality and the way the universe works and the construction of everything of being that pops up in questions. Well, isn't it interesting? This, this is, I've pondered about this a couple of, good amount of time, um, times, sorry, <laughs> that just, um, you imagine back in time, you can better put yourself back in time to the, be to the very beginning of time and you play it out in your mind as a human, as a human, and then, but where did we come from? Where, why are we just there why are we just there <laughs> and then we're going there but is it is this one line imagine that a line is that one line really just the same line continuously and i i just thought about that right now <laughs> questions questions um another th another another thing um is are the chakras and all of those energy systems in the body are those what bind the soul down, the awareness down into this body. Is that why a, a, literally a piece of our consciousness awareness is embedded in this body? Maybe a mere small fraction. And yet that's why we don't have the same strength as we can to just manifest things into reality. Because when I trip, mm, things seem like <sighs> I can slip off the skin really easily and my ego slides around. Uh -huh. I remember being a conscious being and it's amazing, but in my mind, I imagine something and it's there, there. And it's almost like <laughs> when you try really hard to move something with your mind, <clears throat> just trying, nothing happens, but you're like, you're waiting for it to happen. <laughs> Anyways, just a little side note, where did we come from? Who knows? How did we get here? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? All information has just been recorded by words, texts, you know, all that. But actually taking yourself to that experience we go from here to, to boop, right on that little line and then that just gives us a whole new perspective one we are in the perspective of being that person at that time in the moment so we can kind of look from that perspective what how did we get here but even then <laughs> how did we get there who knows who knows and another thing um i think it's pretty obvious by now that um human beings you know I forgot our, our original, um, identificational name, uh, scientifically. Homo erectus, something like that. <laughs> Correct me I if I'm wrong. I think it's pretty obvious. Humans, our consciousness, our evolutionary, um, wheel has greatly been turned, or has been tuned in, tuned up with, uh, some cosmic gears, if you will, to give us a sense, this greater sense of awareness. Because I think that when you're tripping really hard, and it's not even a bad way. <laughs> a bad way. Bad is just a human concept. Bad, that it just is. Being really hard in your awareness, 
is exploding into new beings, like being born again, like a giant cosmic baby, just being aware of the full utterness, realness of reality. <laughs> on the third dimension, knowing that we're on the third dimension, seeing through different dimensions is... I don't know. Time's already going by. But, I'm just saying, like, how did we get so evolved so rapidly in a spontaneous moment in time? And the rest is history. Literally. <laughs> we're here in real time. Uh, it's so weird. We're in time right now. And I will not ever uh i try not to um what is the word I take advantage of this experience or just like not seeing it as something so so phenomenological and magical because we're just so used to just like being human that <laughs> we're alive right now and i think there's so much to learn about this what it is to be in a position of being alive. I have maybe an aspect of being alive does look lifeless, but being alive has so many more meanings, definitions, uh, symbolism, so many things. You can turn that into so many different things. It's just being a human, having a mind, a brain, that's, that's how, that's just how we think. Same with why as humans we have this, this primordial thing in us, this uh, need to um, kind of be with your tribe, feel wanted, things of that nature. But um, shout out to all my starseed psychonauts and the uh, angelic beings and uh, yeah, awakened beings. I love y'all. I love all y'all. We're in this together, baby. Don't worry. It's been tough for me, but I'm good now. I'm good now. It's like spaciousness inside myself. Not even tripping since seven months. And my gosh, just my life is changing, completely transforming. I'm consciously creating what I wish by by being playful, by being playful and that little, that uh, spark of, um, of life, like, as I was a child per se, but that spark of life had flipped significantly, oh my gosh, I'm more of a child now than I was then, <laughs> I'm still a child, it's just my face has grown, but the awareness for which was experiencing that as Lil Sean, I'm still me, <laughs> and I know it, but I know that I am more than what I know, I know I'm this, but I, this is only one part of it, I know that I am this, but I'm also this, 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 and this, and that was just a metaphor analogy, if you will. Um, just taking perspective. But thank you. And um, love and light. Namaste.